The Escapist program was founded in 2009. It started off extremely casual and now it's grown to something beyond our, our wildest dreams. When I first started, I said to myself, if I have any level of success in my art, I want to give back. And I want to give back right away, in real time. We've now had applicants from all over the world. A major um, improvement for the Escapist program came with the construction of the chrysalis, which is where all of the accepted artists now have their own um, artist studios as well as art gallery so it's sort of the ultimate artist training center. The mission of the program has always remained the same and that is um, our desire to forever destroy the stereotype of the struggling artist and we are trying to do that through our grassroots efforts of individually training artists, equipping them with the skill set to sell their work on their own um, without having to rely upon someone else to do it for them and giving them control of their own financial destiny. Art Launch, the nonprofit, when it came along uh, with very supportive donors and were able to truly fund this programming and the operations in the chrysalis, that's when the program took on a whole new life and, and continues today. Thaddeus, um, and I learned he did live painting parties, which I do. Thaddeus, you already had this great business just doing, if you didn't even paint art and you did this, you could make a lot of money. He really started doing new styles. Um, a lot of his previous things were very sophisticated, but you also have to have art that people can understand easily and that they can put in their home. Oh, I love seeing how he really did some new things that were very successful, um, but stayed true to his very high-end, museum-quality work. Sarah has a, a style that was so eye-catching and different and remarkable that when I saw it at her interview, I thought she is definitely getting him. She could have had a very, very successful solo show just sticking with that sort of style. But no, 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 she dug very, very deep. She thought about the role that art plays in her life and was able to introduce such a diverse body of work. Sarah Rimbach has got a lot of talent. It is an um, ex extraordinary amount of talent. She has had it from the beginning. The, the way that she is able to um, create or construct her resin pieces, she has this technique perfect. Patricia, in her own right, is an incredibly accomplished artist and photographer. Conducting business in Texas is quite different than conducting business in Scotland or I would say anywhere in, in Europe that, you know, our capitalist go-for-it go attitude um, can be a little bit overwhelming, I think. The way I think she has seen that we honor our collectors, have regularity with business. Those types of strategies or, uh, or things that we employ, I think we're all quite new to her. This was a really weird year. We did not know at one point whether or not the artists would be able to have their solo exhibitions during the For summer. For the guests that are still on, I actually will email so you the The Art Launch Board, we had to meet and discuss this and discuss the risks involved 
as well as our huge desire not to let these artists down. It was a, it was a unanimous decision to forge ahead and to still have their solo shows. And meanwhile, they, they've been under lockdown. They haven't really been in their studios. And so Thaddeus was the one who had to go first. He pulled it off, he, he nailed it. Thaddeus had a very, very successful solo show. It was very exciting. Uh, I loved it. I felt like the confidence uh, it gave me to, uh, to be able to know that's possible and to do so and the program was able to help me do that. What that day is about for the exhibit, one thing, it's about that artist. It's not about the program, it's not about Ryan or me. It's not about the guests there. That's all little components. It's all about putting that artist on the pedestal and showing off how great they are. I wanted to kind of create that own handcrafted sense when I created this tile series. So the results of my solo show, I was overwhelmed by the amount of support I received. The sales were incredible. I, I didn't know what to expect going in. Of course, we're being trained to expect good outcomes, um, and I did, and um, it turned out really well. I'm, I'm really pleased with the reception and um, the feedback, so um, I'm, I'm really happy with how the exhibition went. The solo show was super successful. Uh, I had a goal um, that I made with Ryan and John at the beginning prior to the show and I exceeded the goal in sales and um, not only was the show successful in that aspect with selling work and um, building upon my collector database, I also learned how to set up a solo show, a solo exhibition, and I learned how to do all the, you know, the things in the background that happen to prepare for the solo exhibition. Thank you, Patricia, for joining us all the way from Scotland. Um, Jerry, can you say hey? It's really been mind-blowing, uh, mind-boggling how much we've achieved together during this year. And the magic of it all is that we did it virtually. I would never in a million years have believed uh, that this would have been a possibility. The artists this year have done tremendous with their sales, very comparable, if not better, than many, many prior years. I was completely shocked with how successful financially every single one of them were. Uh, we nailed it. We, uh, the, artists, the artists nailed their virtual exhibitions. You know, the Monarch Society, those are donors that really are the heart of, of the program and making sure that things are funded. The Monarch Society is a group of amazing collectors. They're super big supporters of both Ryan and John, but they're also really big supporters of um, the Escapist Mentorship Program. I think that if anyone is ready to be challenged um, artistically and want their business mindset to be challenged or for your business mindset to grow and for your um, artistic boundaries to grow, if you feel like you're in a box or just starting out, I think anybody who, ha who can identify with that, those items um, would be perfect candidates to apply for the program. It is, it is absolutely essential for Art Launch to receive funding. And I will have to say this year, more than ever, as the executive director and founder of Art Launch, this is my job to seek funding. I need to make sure that these artists have the appropriate structure and programming in order to fulfill our mission. If you're wanting to contribute to a cause that can change the lives of artists, this would be, this would be the thing to contribute to. I would like to sincerely thank all of the Art Launch donors. Without donors like you that give very generously to our programming, the, the program would not exist. You have not allowed the pandemic to, 
to feel, have us feel any less loved. In fact, I feel more supported. Thank you. Thank you for all that you have done. Thank you for helping my career to evolve. Um, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. I'm literally moving forward in my life as potentially a professional artist, and it's because of you guys, so thank you. Thank you all in Houston and all over the world, all of you who support this program. Um, my heart is with you, and I can't wait to come and meet you all one day. Thank you so much for everybody who's given money to Art Launch. You make so many magical things happen for these artists, and I never want to take you for granted. Thank you, thank you, thank you.